What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn, Tyson Fury, and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. And today, he made a, or should I say yesterday, he was in an interview, and the interview, he was talking about Tyson Fury and his latest positive test, and he questioned that the the legitimacy of the positive test and he said dealing with him and his people and he said his people Frank Warren Bob Arrow i.e. he said that you can't really believe anything they really say so he's very skeptical of anything that has anything to do with uh, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury because of how they kept or how they pretty much lied about the arbitration and said it wouldn't even affect their fight you know again you know because they were doing business together and they made him do all the work and he did all the work he flew here he flew there he flew everywhere and when it was time to get it done and Tyson Fury found out that Eddie Hearn was not lying or he was about his business with the Saudis um, Prince Khalid and them right the very next day boom the arbitration ruling hit and Deontay Wilder won to fight. Now, I can see that Eddie Hearn is a little bit, you know, cause you know, you, you always look for reasons people say things, right? But it does make sense what Eddie Hearn says and he continues to say this. He said, well, why would their monitor, monitoring their team, why wouldn't they be looking at Tyson Fury first? Because you remember, like, it was supposed to have been some people in his, his camp tested positive, not, not necessarily him. Then, not too far from that, boom! Oh, he tests positive, too. That almost reminds me of some things that go down, like, oh, well, almost like it was made up. Like, just say I got it, too, so we will all be doing this together or we can give more borrow more time when you guys get well I get well so then when you guys get back I'll be back I think it's time of one of those type things and uh you know Eddie Hearn you know it makes me think if he's skeptical of him and his team there may be a there may be a chance just a chance that Eddie Hearn may not want to even deal with Tyson Fury even if he beats Deontay Wilder whenever they fight because, you know, they're supposed to fall on the 24th of July and August. Pacquiao, Spitz. Then September, they're supposed to have been in September. And I know they thought about it. Like, no, we're not going up against Joshua uh, um, Usyk. So let's start, Let's do it in October. So now they've pushed it to October. That's all new. That's the 10th month in the year. So we're looking at a lot of things that could go down with... Uh, these guys and it is and it's weird because I think that at the end of the day um, Tyson Fury has done some stuff that made people think you know with the arbitration and you know the secret stuff and then all of a sudden hey I'm fighting Wilder and this that and the other but you know um, if he's positive he's positive but you know I, I just don't it just, look to me, me counterpunching what Eddie Hearn says, I can understand why he's skeptical, and I can also understand that people will use any situation for their own benefit. And let me explain by that the the COVID nineteen. You could use that as anything in any type of situation if you didn't want to do it. It, it do a particular thing. You can call off of work. You can go out of, off on a vacation now. And say, hey man, I got COVID. So, you know, that's two weeks. So you got a two week vacation, not, you know, not paid unless you got some paid time at work. But hey, man, I got COVID, you know. <laughs> hey, man, you want to go with me to this? No, man, I got COVID, right? Fighters, they can use it too. Teofimo Lopez, people question that he had COVID or not, you know, ESPN, go figure. So yeah, it's very convenient to use if you are going to use it. I think the time to use it is now. So if Tyson Fury is lying about it, it's the perfect alibi. It's the perfect thing to say. Why not? <laughs> you know, but yeah, you know, I, I think um, that it went from his team to him. I think that was a little strange. I do think that I would question that. I would scratch my head on that, you know, but if they are 
infected with the COVID-19. I wish them a speedy recovery. And again, I can understand why Eddie Hearn would think that way on top of being salty about the arbitration and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Eddie Hearn uh, not believing Tyson the Gypsy King Fury for having COVID-19. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace!